Both my parents were creatives. I was on TV when I was four. And when you grow up in that, it just kind of is second nature. It started in like Univision Telemundo, so I was like that girl that was like, oh, buenos dias, como están? And so I decided to go to university for TV production. And I had to take an elective, and I was like, okay, what's the closest thing to TV production? And it was obviously theater. So I took this class, and they told me, hey, we have like a play coming up in the fall, and if you want to audition for it. So yeah, I auditioned for it, and I booked it, somehow I booked it. I was not interested in this play at all. The first time I did it, it went really well, and then my uh, acting teacher goes, you know, you can go there. I know you can go there. So the next day, my parents are in the audience, and I have this really big monologue, very emotional monologue, and I just, before I started, I just connected. I start crying and I'm just like living in this mono, like, like it just completely, it's like time stopped. And all I'm hearing is people crying with me. And I said, I've never felt that in my life. I said, if I am in the wrong side of the industry because this is how I'm gonna get through people, how I'm actually gonna be able to share my voice, the way that it can impact people is so amazing. It completely changed the course of my life. So my mission as an actress has always been, I wanna represent Hispanic talent by not making it stereotyped. I've done a couple of roles where it doesn't say where I'm from. Having that ability to just write a role that goes a lot deeper than just race, that it goes into who this person is, what their background is, what they're going through, and it doesn't talk about where they're from, it kind of leaves you to wonder where they might be from, that's exciting. That could open so many doors. We have to, as artists, actively fight to change that through stories through hum humanizing our artists and our stories and make them relatable. I grew up in a town that was filled with all kinds of Hispanic people. So we need people that not only are open to diversity, but that are in the room making those decisions that are welcoming that, you know, the world is not just black and white, is filled with colors. And there are so many stories to tell. I think of my father, who was my biggest hero. I feel like I'm making him proud because I'm more like him now than when he left me. Like, I've just grabbed the world by the balls and just said, let's do this. I know I'll keep making mistakes all the time, but I'm gonna learn from them. If one thing I know is that when I mess up, I'm gonna come out of it a much better person, definitely. Mm -hmm.